हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब क्लासेस ऑफ द सी एल ए डिग्री कॉलेज सो आई एम युअर मैथमेटिक्स लेक्चर शिवराज के दरूर सो फॉर द बी एस सी फोर सेम वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड टू यूनिट्स इन द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो इन द यूट्यूब क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द थर्ड यूनिट दैट इज द इनफाइनेट सीरीज वन सो वॉट यू मीन बाय इनफाइनेट सीरीज हियर सो सीरीज मीन्स फर्स्ट विल सी अबाउट द सीरीज हियर सो वॉट इज हियर सीरीज A series is nothing but the sum of the terms of a sequence here. So, what do you mean by sequence now? So, sequence is nothing but a sequence is a orderly arrangement of numbers. So, what if I have order? Suppose we will take an example of a uh, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, so on. So, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on. So, these are the numbers. These are arranged in the order here. So, the difference between the first and second term is one. the second term and third term is one so here they have a definite order so this type of a order is called a sequence so if we add this sequence terms then we will call it as a series that is the sum of a terms of a sequence is called a series so what you mean by here infinite series so what do you mean by infinite series infinite series is nothing but a series up to a infinite uh, number of terms infinite number of terms that up to means uh, infinity a series up to infinite number of term is called as a infinite series here so in this infinite series we will study about the uh, definition of infinite series and on some examples on infinite series so also uh, we will study about the partial sums and uh, convergent series divergent series and also the oscillatory series here we also study about the necessary and sufficient condition on convergence and uh, cauchy's general principle on convergence also we will study about the p series test and uh, geometric uh, geometric series also uh, about the comparison test here so first we will see the definition of a infinite series so definition let a n be a sequence of a real numbers the expression a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus so on plus an plus so on is called as a is called as a infinite series so we have consider a series here series means it is nothing but the sum of a terms of a sequence here so sequence are nothing but this a1 a2 a3 so or this is a type of a uh, sequence so sequence if we add this sequence then we will got uh, we will get a series here so the expression a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus so on up to an and plus so on so such a type of a series so which has a is summation so if you write this uh, we will denote if we denote this summation n equal to 1 to infinity an then we can write that uh, that as a a1 plus a2 plus a3 so on up to plus an or also we can denote it by summation of an here so where an is called the nth terms of a series so here this an so an an is nothing but the last term so it is called as a nth term of a series and the numbers a1 a2 so on up to an are called the terms of a series so this a1 a2 a3 are nothing but these are the terms of a series and the last term that is an is called as a nth term of a series here so this is about the infinite uh, series so we have some examples here summation of 1 divided by n so this is a type of a infinite series so infinite series we will denote this by a summation of 1 divided by 10 uh, 1 divided by n here so 1 divided by n means if you substitute n value as 1 here if you substitute n value as 1 2 3 so on then we will get the sequence uh, sorry the series as 1 divided by 1 if you substitute 2 that will be 1 divided by 2 if you substitute 3 that will be 1 by, uh, 1 divided by 3 plus so on that is 1 divided by n 1 by 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus so on plus 1 by n plus so on here so similarly we have another example here that is summation of n divided by n plus 1 equal to 1 divided by 2 here instead of n we will substitute 1 2 3 so on so first we will take uh, n equal to 1 here so if you take n equal to 1 then it will be 1 1 plus 1 will be 2 that is 1 by 2 that is the first term that is a1 so second c here if you substitute n equal to 2 that will be 2 divided by 2 plus 1 will be 3 that is 2 by 3 so this is a a2 term that is the second term 
so similarly we will make the third term and finally the nth term so nth term is nothing but that is the n divided by n plus 1 plus so on here so this is about the definition that is the infinite series first year so second in the next definition we'll see that is the series of non negative terms here non negative term means positive terms so the series must be here a positive terms so if all the terms of a series series we will denote this as series as a summation of n equal to 1 to infinity that is of a n are positive then the series summation a n is called a series of positive terms if this series is a uh, terms of a positive numbers then the series is called as a series is called as a positive series for example if you take summation of n cube so n cube uh, if you go on substituting the values as a 1 2 3 then it will be 1 cube plus 2 cube plus uh, 3 cube plus so on up to n cube plus so on so here the terms are always in the positive manner so this positive manner means we will call it uh, this series as a non negative terms or uh, or we will call it as a positive terms here so another example we will see that is the summation of 2 into n minus 1 equal to so if you substitute in place of a n will if you substitute n value as 1 2 3 so on so that will be if you substitute first firstly if you substitute 1 that will be 2 into 1 will be 2 2 minus 1 will be again 1 here so next if you substitute 2 here 2 into 2 will be 4 4 minus 1 will be 3 so similarly we will get the 5 7 so on up to and the nth term will be here 2 n minus 1 plus so on so this is about the infinite series first and the uh, series of a non-negative terms or a positive series here so next we'll uh, we'll see here about the partial sum so what do you mean by partial sum suppose summation of a n equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus so on plus a n plus so on is the infinite series so suppose the summation of a n is a1 plus a2 plus a3 so on then we can uh, denote partial sum as that is s1 so you will take s1 as a1 a1 is nothing but the first term and s2 as a1 plus a2 here s2 is nothing but the sum of two terms that is a1 plus a2 s1 is nothing but the first term s2 is nothing but the sum of two terms that is a1 plus a2 and similarly s3 is nothing but the sum of three terms that is s1 plus uh, sorry a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on we will take that is the sum of n terms so sum of n terms we can denote it as a sn so sn will be sn equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus so on plus a n here so this sn is nothing but the nth partial sum of summation of a n so sn is nothing but the nth partial sum of summation of a n here so this is about the partial sum so partial sum is nothing but the these are the sequences uh, which include the uh, sum of the terms of series here here nothing but s1 is a1 s2 is a1 plus a2 s3 is nothing but a1 plus a2 plus a3 so on and sn is nothing but the a1 plus a2 plus a3 so on up to plus a n here so here this sn is uh, nothing but the nth partial sum of summation of a n summation of a n is nothing but the it is the uh, sum of n terms of a series see infinite series here so next we will see about the nature and behavior of infinite series so how this infinite series behaves so according to the nature and behavior of infinite series so we have uh, infinite series behaves as a convergent series it also behaves as a divergent series or it uh, behaves as a oscillatory series here so first we will see about the convergent series so convergent series is nothing but the the series summation of a n is said to converge if the sequence Sn, Sn of its partial sum converges to a real number. So when the sequence converges to a real number that is L, then we will call it as a convergent series that is limit n tends to infinity Sn equal to L. When the sequence has a limit, when a sequence has a limit, then we will call the convergent, then it will call the series as a convergent series here and the series summation of an is said to be convergent if the sequence sequence is nothing but sn is nothing but the 
partial sum partial sum here it is a partial sum sn equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 so this is a, a type of a sequence this sequence converges to a real number l so when the sequence is converges to a real number l that is we can denote it as a limit n tends to infinity sn equal to l then the sequence is called as a convergent series here for example we will take an example of a convergent series that is the summation of n equal to 1 to infinity 1 divided by n into n plus 1 this sequence sorry this series converges to the 1 here so this series is converges to the 1 so how it converges to the 1 we will see in the next examples detaily so such type of a series so another example is here that is summation of n equal to 1 to infinity that is uh, into 3 by 4 whole rest to n minus 1 is converges to 4 so this series converges to 4 and this series converges to 1 so this 1 and 4 are nothing but the limits for this series here so 1 and 4 are nothing but the limits for this series so if the sequence has some limit that is a, if the sequence sn has some limit then it is called as a convergent series here so next we'll see about the is divergent series so divergent series is nothing but the the series summation of an is said to diverge to infinity if the sequence sn diverges to infinity if the summation of an diverges to plus infinity or minus infinity then the sequence is said to be a divergent series here the series summation of an is said to be diverge diverge to minus infinity if the sequence sn diverges to minus infinity here so we will see that is therefore limit n tends to infinity a n equal to infinity or limit n tends to infinity a n equal to minus infinity here suppose a series which converges or sorry which diverges to inf plus infinity or minus infinity then such a series is called as a divergent series here that is for example we will see uh, series that is summation of minus n into n plus 1 divided by 2 is diverges to minus infinity and uh, another example that is summation of n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 divided by 6 is diverges to plus infinity so when the series diverges to plus infinity or minus infinity then we will, uh, we will call it as a divergent series so next uh, we have a another definition that is the oscillatory series here so what do you mean by oscillatory series here if the series summation al neither converges nor diverges to plus infinity or minus infinity it is called as a oscillatory sequence here if the sequence if the sorry if the series summation of an neither converges so it neither converges nor diverges to plus infinity or minus infinity such a series is called as a oscillatory series or a sequence here for example we have example here summation n equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to n is a oscillate finally finitely so this uh, series or a sequence this oscillate finitely so this oscillate finite uh, up to the finite number of terms and next summation of second example that is summation of n equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n into n divided by n plus 2 is oscillate finitely this is also uh, this series sequence uh, series also oscillate finitely here if the sequence so for the oscillatory series if the sequence sn is bounded then the sequence uh, then the series will oscillate finitely if the sequence sn is unbounded then the uh, sequence sn uh, will be oscillate infinitely here so this is about the convergent divergent and oscillatory series in the tomorrow's class uh, we will see some of, some of the examples on this so thank you we will continue in the next class